Oh no. Why is it leaking? Welcome to Moto's Cades and Coffee. Morning guys, it's Andy from Moto's Cades and Coffee. I'm going to change the oil and the fluids on my 1998 Shadow VT1100 Ace. Um, I bought it. You can check out one of my videos on me taking it home right here, I hope. And we'll get the, uh, the video of me changing the oil. I'm going to change all the fluids, like I said, and then go ride it and get a test drive in. Um, I haven't really done anything to it, changed the um, any fluids again, and I haven't cleaned it up, but I'm gonna go do that before I go get a test drive. So let's uh, head in and push, push the bike out. You can hear it's kind of melting snow, but we'll still change oil today, so let's go. So I haven't ridden this, but I can tell you this bike is super heavy to push. My goodness, it feels extremely heavy when I'm moving it around the garage and everywhere. Tires are full, it has these big white walls on there, but it is not an easy bike to push. Uh -uh. Maybe this one has a lot of modifications. I don't know if that's gonna do it, but yeah. But uh, not horrible. Maybe I'll get used to it. One thing the previous owner had was a service manual. Um, so there are some of the spe specifications. Uh, dry weight is 573 pounds, but I think with everything on there, we're, we're getting close to, yeah. Maybe 600, curb weight, 617, I believe it's probably about 650 pounds. I think I read somewhere it's about 67 horsepower, 90 pounds of torque from an 1100. Four quarts oil at draining. All right, here's all the tools I need. All right, besides a, a drain, a bucket, you need a 17 millimeter socket um, and just some oil filter wrenches. Your Drain plug, I believe, is right. This is a liquid cooled motor. Um, should be somewhere there. Okay. You can see it right there. Pull back on the left side of the bike. And the filter is behind the kickstand right there. So let's go ahead and drain it. Great. Okay. Hopefully that will work. This is under under bike lighting that we'll probably need to change. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Right. Now it's hand tight. All right, there it goes. Look at that. Beautiful. Bye bye oil. Oh no. The plug went in there. I'll have to get a. Uh, I'll have to get a magnet. Plug filled the hole. Leaked a little bit. I got some towels, rags that I'm gonna use. All right. And I'll get some uh, oil cleanup. Well, as I spilled a little bit, I got some simple green, some dirty rags. So as this drains, I will. Go ahead and clean up. All right, one of my favorite tools all the time, a magnet. So let's go fishing. Ugh. All right, here we go. Let's go fishing. There we go. <laughs> I got the drain plug. All right, stop draining, so I'm going to put the plug back in underneath it. There we go. Catch the oil. And I cleaned off the uh, plug so there's no residue there. Getting in hand tight, there we go. Good. There we go. Not too tight. All right. Get it out. All right, that is done. Time to get the uh, filter off next. All right, the filter, there it is. Right. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, nice. All right, let me get a pan under there so we can drip it out. All right, I cut off the bottom of a melt carton. That's gonna be my uh, makeshift drain pan. All right. Put it right underneath there. 
Let's see what we can do. Shift drain pan. There it is. Ta-da. And we'll let it drain in there. And I'll clean it up and then I'll reinsert the new filter. Alright, there we go. Trick y'all. Amazon just brought the oil filter. So I had to wait till it came in. So yep, there it is. Um, I'm gonna go install it now. Now there's a filter. I'm gonna put a little oil in there first, and then I'm gonna put it around there and screw it on hand tight. So let me go do that. You wanna fill the filter up a little bit. So it doesn't cavitate. There we go. Get this on there. Take some of the oil, put it around here. And now to screw it on. It's on. All right. Just hand tight's fine. There we go. Get it off. One more screw. That's good. All right. Now to fill the oil uh, in the oil filler. Okay. I'm screwing the cap there. I know it takes a little less than four gallons. So, oil filler in there. Oh, man. It's kind of tight. I'm not going to put the whole four gallons in. Feels good. We'll check it here. All right. Ooh, this thing is cleaned off. I can tell it too. Can tell it. Definitely just needs cleaned off. Probably put right at three and a half in. Get a little bit more in now. Might have to top it off a little bit more, but that's probably gonna do it. I think that's gonna do it for me. And we'll make sure it's all topped off before I start it. And we'll go for a test drive soon enough. We've got to change the gas next. So please like and subscribe. That's the oil change in this uh, 1998 Honda Shadow. Oh, one last thing. If anyone was asking, that's the uh, Fram number. That works for this bike. Fresh battery, fresh gas, and oil change to do. Started right up.